Hello, my name's Adam. Welcome to the Fighting Fantasy Playlist. In this series, we're talking all about the Fighting Fantasy series of books that were released during the 80s by authors Steve Jackson and Ian Livingston. And in this episode, this is just merely an introduction uh, for the whole series, uh, lay out the ground term. So um, I'm, I'm kind of like a one take Charlie. I don't like to do a lot of fancy editing and, you know, and not really because I'm lazy or anything like that. It's just, I don't, you know, there's no point in hiding anything. So if there's a mistake, you'll see it. And that's that. And it's not really scripted. I kind of generally know what I'll be saying, but I don't really script out things. So whatever. Um, <clears throat> so that's the nature of the videos. Um, and they're not like a review of the books and they're not going to be telling you secrets and tips on how to play them. It's more uh, my thoughts on the books and uh, just to be able to show everybody, all the fans, all the books. There's a, they, They've done 70 in the series and then they've done all these other big ones as well like um, Dungeoneer and Black Sand and stuff like that. And basically we're going to go through each and every single you know, book in turn uh, look at the cover art because a, a lot of it is just phenomenal. Look at the interior art, you know, read a bit about the book inside and just make everybody a bit more aware for what this series is and what each individual book is because a lot of these books are very rare indeed and they're not wildly available and some of them are really expensive. So this is a chance for everybody to see what the book looks like, what the interior art looks like and kind of how it plays. We'll do a few uh, run throughs. Um, usually what you uh, require for these books is simply a pencil or a pen, a piece of paper and some dice. And the dice basically, you know, can be just, it's a six sided dice you need, can be picked up anywhere. I uh, go to the Games Workshop to get my dice because the Games Workshop was actually co-founded and created by the authors of these books. Steve Jackson and Ian Livingston, they kind of brought from America in the 70s in the late 70s, the Dungeons and Dragons, they brought it to Europe and brought it to England. And so I always get my dice from their shop. Um, they, uh, they, yeah, the early 80s, they launched their own, uh, the Games Workshop, for starters, but they launched their own brand, Fighting Fantasy, early 80s. 1982 was when they launched their first title, which was The Warlock of Firetop Mountain. And we'll go into that book in a later episode. Um, and they released it under Puffin, uh, the, it was called Puffin something uh, uh, something else, like Puffin Children's Library or something. And um, it was really popular, you know. The uh, Dungeons & Dragons was popular in America, but then when they launched a fighting fantasy over here, it became mega popular. And so Puffin was really kind of scared that other people would be copying them. So they asked him, hey guys, do you mind like, you know, every sort of like, you know, um, months, do you mind producing one of these books? So we monopolize the market here. And sadly, it takes more than a month to make one of these books because the artwork inside can take a month alone. You know, to write it could take like three months. It, it's a very involved process, excuse me. And so um, they were like, yeah, we can we can dish out a couple. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, we can dish out a couple, but um, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's not going to be every month. So what they did is they started to do some, then they employed guest writers and they started a series called Steve Jackson and Ian Livingston Presents. Uh, and then it was the title of the book. So, uh, and they did 59 in this run of books uh, originally, and it ended in mid nineties. Um, and then it kind of fizzled off and then it got relaunched by Wizard in 2002, Wizard Publishing. And uh, they they reprinted a lot of Steve and Ian's work uh, as well as kept on releasing new titles. Um, and, and that was a real soft release. It didn't really take off. Um, but then in 2011, they, they launched it again and they did more reprints of some of the same books that they reprinted. Others, it was like another series. And... Um, still with Wizard and uh, they uh, also kept on releasing and the final release which was I believe 2013 was called Blood of the Zombies. I mean that title alone is just like so cool. Um, and then it was all quiet on the on the home front. They weren't really they were releasing more apps and more digital versions of the books until this year in 2017 in August, we got finally a fresh new, brand new adventure from Ian Livingston called uh, The Port of Peril, or Port of Peril. 
And uh, that went back to the famous city of Port Black Sand, which is featured in a few of the books. And it's a very infamous and famous city. Now, all these books, uh, they're all contained within a world, you know, called Titan. And um, there's a book dedicated to that. And we'll go through that as well. Um, I just wanted to lay out what the whole series was and where it came from. I remember playing these as a child. It got me into reading. They're more games than they are books, but they are so... They're so designed at like these sort of six to 13 year olds. Um, it really does uh, give them a love for reading. Um, and it's a game to play, so it's never boring. You, you read it twice, you play it a completely different way. You know, you might not even be able to finish the book on the first try. You have to keep trying these things to be able to complete them because you are the hero of this character, of the story. You make the decisions. It's not a book that you just go from A to B to Z. It's you have to make decisions and turn to a relevant paragraph to uh, see if that decision's worked out. So it is a literal game in your hands. And yet it's a physical copy. It doesn't require electricity to play them. That's what's so cool of them. So um, there's loads more I want to say, but we'll save that for the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got, uh, for those of you who are fans of the series, give me a list of your top 10 uh, favorite books and we'll do a sort of top 10 fans pick in an, a future episode. And if you've got any questions, please feel free to leave your comments and questions below and we'll perhaps do a quick Q&A in the future. Um, for now, take care, goodbye and happy adventuring. Bye-bye.